Hey there, Ryan Kingsline here. Now in this video, I wanna show you how you can get an awesome render for our demon girl or really for anything out of Maya. To do that, we are actually gonna use Arnold and we are using Maya 2020 right now. So let's start over with a brand new scene. Control to open and let's bring in one of our scenes. And here we go. So right off the bat, we've got our hardware render. If we come in and just click render this, not too pretty, but it's a usable scenario. To do better though, is gonna be very simple. All right, it's gonna be as simple as coming in here to the render. So make sure that in the menu set, you are using the rendering men menu set. You go to render, you go to render settings, and at the very top where it says render using, you're gonna set that to Arnold. All right, and then just to set yourself up for success later, I'm gonna go in and do JPEG. You can do PNG, um, but I like JPEG just for the simplicity of things. And uh, let's just leave all of this alone and make sure that in image size, I like to set this at HD 1028. Okay, once this is done, then we're gonna come over to Arnold, which is the next tab over. And we're going to come all the way down to environment. And in the background where it says legacy, we're going to click that and say create a sky shader. That's the key. Now, let's close out of this and position our camera. And let's just press spacebar so we're just looking at this. And hit render again. All right. A little bit better, but we can do even better than this. So now we're going to set up a simple scenario where we use the ambient light mostly to lighten the shadow, and we bring in one light to provide direction and act as though it's a sun. So what I'm going to do is find the AI sky, which is in the uh, left-hand side over here in the outliner. You see where it says transform one. And I'm going to go, I'm going to leave intensity where it is, but I'm going to go into the color. And I'm gonna set the color where it's a little blue, but dark. And this value is going to act as a multiplier on the actual lighting itself. So it's gonna reduce the lighting. There you go. That's what we want. We want something reduced like that. Then the next thing that we do is we go into our light and we go into lights and just create a directional light. Okay, scale that directional light up so that it's visible. And then I'm gonna pull it and rotate it so it's coming not from the back, but from my side. So I'm rotating it towards me and from above. Go in there, hit render. All right, we're starting to get something set up. Now what you should be noticing is that we've got a pretty strong light happening here. Or at least we have the beginning of a light and we have some light in the shadow as well. It's not just black. Hopefully it's gonna be a little dark, a little blue, and what we'll do is hopefully get the, um, the light itself, which I mean, her skin is red, so we want that to be warm and that's just gonna happen naturally. But now it's not quite set up with the contrast that I want, so what do I do? I can come in to the light itself, so I can just select the light, and you can adjust the intensity. But in this particular case, I'm going to leave the intensity where it is. I'm going to, within the lights uh, attribute editor in the shape node, I'm gonna go down to Arnold and I'm gonna set the exposure to two. That in and of itself is gonna do the bulk of the work that I want, so just click render. And now I've got a pretty nice setup. If I wanna lighten the shadow, all I've got to do is come into my sky, which is really just a matter of selecting this big thing in the background, right? So I've got the light here, or I can select this. And if we go shading, wireframe, you'll see that what we're looking at with that AI sky is a sphere that this character now belongs um, inside of. So we can select that. And with this one, we can say, all right, well, I'm gonna go into the color and I wanna bring the value up. It's gonna lighten the background, but it'll also serve to lighten the shadow as well. So come up here into my shelf and go right here into the second one and just say render. And then we can decide, you know, is this something that I like or something that I don't like? Up to you. Now, the next thing is to get a little bit of shadow going on in there. And in order for us to have shadow, we've got to have shadow falling on something. So I'm going to go into create polygon primitives and I'm going to create a simple plane. 
switch over to scale, press R on the keyboard, and I'm just going to scale this up. And I already know from experience, and let's just go in the box, uh, that I'm going to need to set this to 1000. All right, cool. All right, so we've got that set up. Now I'm going to go click render again. And you should notice that the shadow is hard edged. So how do I get a soft shadow? And again, in the simplest possible way, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go and select the directional light itself and press Control A to see the attribute editor. We're going to go into the shape node for it. And there's only one setting that we're going to adjust, only one for this. And that's going to be right here, the angle slider. So we're going to move that upwards, and that's going to give us a little bit more dimensionality to the shadow, not just a cutout. OK, let's scale that down a little bit for you. And I'm going to come over here and just keep the image. So this little tiny button that says Keep Image, I'm going to keep that image, and then watch as I just double up that and say Render Again. There we go. So it'll give you a sense of how far you might need to push angle in order for you to get a soft shadow. This is a five, or really, yeah, that's a five, and this is about a two. Now, the other thing that we can do to get an even better render out of this, we can go into the samples area in Arnold, and let's just take that up to eight. So we've got this at five. We're going to keep this image, render again. You can see a little bit more blur, and it'll be a little higher quality. won't be so noisy at the edges. All of that coming from raising the samples. Now, some, I'm going to put that back to 1, because for us doing this, um, not necessarily important. Okay. Now, what if I want to see that inside the viewport? Is there a way for me inside the viewport to see all of that beautiful stuff? And there is in Maya 2020. So in order to enable it, what we do is we come up into the viewport itself, and you see where it says View, Shading, Lighting, Show, Renderer. We go into this, and we click Arnold. Then this little window pops up, and we click the red play button. Ta-da! Now we can actually scrub through our animation. and Let's zoom this out so we can see it. And we're actually seeing this beautiful thing inside of Render, inside of Arnold. You find something you like. Bob's your uncle, and there's your Render. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. And make sure that you press the subscribe button down below this video to stay uh, up to date and get more of these tutorials as we release them. If you want to get this free rig, it's part of the application process for our brand new animation program. So head over to vertexschool.com. It's totally free, no obligations. Just head over there, download it, have some fun. Hope you enjoyed. Have an amazing day.